All right, so this is the very end, south end tip of the swamp. I don't think I explored this. And then there, obviously we can go under the bridge and go up this whole river. <laughs> hey, generic nerd, what's up? The crab murdering is going great. that noise weird all right so this is the bridge leave those things alone I don't trust this at all Oh, do they have skeletons drop down from both sides on top? How great is that? Oh, they're coming back. That's cool. Fox is not much. Just had my head taken off while two feet away from picking up 35,000 runes. You needed a break. Oh, God. Work has been slow, generic nerd. I hope it picks up for you again. My charge is back. So they were just sitting up there and they'd like humpty dumpty down to attack. I love that. For some reason, the horse in Elden Ring gives you Don Quixote vibes. It's because he's like a small little donkey, right? You know, Don Quixote, donkey. Get it? No? Speaking of, speaking of my little donkey, I think I want to be on one here. Hey. Oh, you can't be on one here. Invaded by bloody finger Nerajus? Oh, hello. Hello. Nice, nice dodge. I'll give him that. That was great. Oh, the finger, the end 
is mine. For you. I agree. And your cesspit. Ooh! Mushroom dude! Think. Nice! Do I have to be careful not to hit mushroom dude? I guess not. Yes, he healed though. That's so bad. All right, he's out of drink. Stab him. Do something. He's going to kill me. Yes! Wow, mushroom dude saved my life. Oh, he almost killed me too. <sighs> Summoning other players. Use fur calling finger remedy to reveal summon signs of players from other worlds. Gold signs indicate an ally. Red signs indicate an adversary. The multiplayer session will begin once either type has been summoned. You will take the role of the host of fingers. For calling, furl calling, finger remedy. Yeah. Ooh, I got Raduvia. Raduvia? Looks like some sort of bloody dagger. It is, a, it's exactly a bloody dagger. Jagged dagger with a distinctive curved blade used by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood. The dagger rips the flesh as it enters, inflicting blood loss with sickening efficacy a proud testament to the success of its vicious design this weapon is perpetually coated in blood you get the unique skill reduvia blood blade slash with the wicked dagger transforming its never drying blood stains into airborne blood blades that cause hemorrhaging can be fired in rapid succession Ooh, that's pretty good you need to uh, have an arcane of 13 to wield it appropriately Mine's at a seven. You killed that guy in your first encounter. You were not so lucky, Reen. Well, honestly, without the mushroom guy, there's no way I would have beaten that. Um, He was way hard. And he was inflicting bleed on me like crazy. I too am surprised I survived. All right, we have 4,000 uh, runes. Don't want to die now. So let's go in this spooky cave. Okay. Look at that, we found a cave right here. Sure, it's fine. Mechwater Cave. Mechwalder. Yeah, McGurk Water Cave. Purple McGurk is my name. Exploring dungeons is my game. Touch the grace. Rest. Level up. Let's be happy. Bringing my faith up to 10. That actually gives me resistances too. I mean, a little bit, a little bit here and there. So it's not useless. Let's do faith. 
You summoned one PvP enemy and it was a mage who just beamed me with a giant laser till I was dead. It was fun. That's the last time I do that. All right, let's give ourselves some options with that faith going up a little. Ringing a bell for me. Back up. Back up. We had to wow. <laughs> what the hell is that stuff you threw at me? You crazy? Come on. Oh, don't you throw that stuff at me. La, 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 la. Oh, there's a trap on the floor with the bells. Oh, that was clever. All right. All right. I don't need this. Give me this. Hit the wrong guy. a friggin bell trap that's what that was how cool is that very clever and i got my ass kicked and they threw all kinds of gross stuff at me bells never seem to be good in from software games yeah And somehow, like, slabs of rotten meat are great. Like, I'll go crafting mats. All right. So how much, um... All right, I still have four heals. Two ways to go. Check the other way first. Those traps are always when you try to be sneaky. I always try to be sneaky too. With my torch out, you know? Sneaky with my torch out. Oh God. Not a treasure chest. <laughs> I don't want a treasure chest. <laughs> Ow, anything but that. What was that green blob? It was slimy something or other. We've been getting a lot of it. This stuff here, I have 32 of them. Cave moss. All right, here goes nothing. Five mushrooms in that one, and, and I got scared of it. Why does he not want the chest? This why. Responsible for all our deaths today was a treasure chest.
Have you considered <laughs> getting good? Worm. <laughs> Something's going to come down the hole. Something's going to jump down from there. Hello? Anyone here? Gonna be when I touch the treasure. Okay. Well, well, well. Thought you'd just help yourself to a man's personal belonging. Huh? Yes. You patches. Yes. It's patches. All of it. Finally, we get to meet on the battlefield. That's a big shield you got. Oh, I thought I had a backstab opportunity. There was that kick, the legendary kick. Kicking my butt so far. That's for kicking me off all those cliffs. Did I get hit by that? Oh, he broke me. <laughs> Skewered by patches. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, what bosses are down so far? Storm Digger Troll, the Tree Sentinel, the Big Dragon in the Swamp. A couple other random ones in these caves. All these guys are back though. How funny, I went right into the bells. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Twilight. They may not be major bosses to you. They were major bosses to me. How dare you? What? I surrender. White flag and all. Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of reason. 
true and true. <laughs> Come on. Up to his old shenanigans again. Ah. Well, what do you know? You're tarnished like me. Now, now how did I get that wrong? Good old patches. Hey, Nisro, stop everything you're typing. Hands off the keyboard. <laughs> well, water under the bridge. Now it's squared up. How about we play nice from now on? All right. Um, so for anybody who doesn't know the Dark Souls games, Patches has made several appearances in situations kind of like this. Never like never like outwardly fought him before. I don't remember. But you, you can save him at certain points and trust him at certain points. And he always backstabs you. Um, you do get some stuff out of it. So there we go. Yeah, I'm going to do forgive and forget. Let's see what happens. Yeah. A true man of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. And they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> that is very true, Reenbright. This time, I was stealing from him. Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. So I'll come back I'll here. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. So the hill set up shop, same place. Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. Friend. Let me destroy all your barrels. Just a rest and return? All right, let's see if we can do that. How funny, though. How funny. And by the way, what did we get from him? We got some cloth stuff, right? Cloth garb. There we go. I'm a little white dress. You guys smell something burning? Yeah, we did get an emote. You're right. We got the grovel emote. Grovel, grovel. Sit, bow, stoop, fall. I love that they gave you worthless stuff too. Too funny. All right, we're gonna go back in there in a second. Just need to AMK real quick. All right, sorry about that. We're gonna take a quick break uh, in a little bit. All right, let's go back in and see if Patches... I have to rest, right? Merkwalder Cave. How great is it that you see something in the on the map, right? Like I saw, I saw like just, I'm like, all right, well this, this little river goes up under this bridge. Let's go check that all out. And like, 
you get rewarded. Little mini dungeons, NPCs. We got invaded by that guy. Skeletons fell off the bridge at us. There's so much like stuff. I'm here for patches. What are you guys doing? Patches, help me! Okay, good. They're afraid of patches, obviously. Well, nice of you to drop in finally. It's all a bit ad hoc, but I'm sure you'll find something. And welcome to Patches Emporium, where you won't need a refund. Because everything's top notch. About the bandits. Yeah. I had those bandits make a clean break. Now they're all suppliers. And good ones at that. I mean, they don't understand a word I'm saying. But it hardly matters. We have a natural connection. <laughs> they're all foot soldiers. Survivors of a defeated army. Worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord, only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. <sighs> to hell with it all. That chest. There was a chest behind me, right? Hmm. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Well, it's a. <sighs> nothing too special. Just something I'm saving as thanks for a very valuable customer. But then again, it would fetch some spectacular coin. Oh, and besides, God. this valuable customer could be a long time coming. <laughs> huh? Everything is give and take. Uh, give and give take. it to me. Oh, man. Okay, gold pickled foul foot. Oh, that's the thing that uh, boosts your rune acquisition so you can level up quicker. Fan daggers. Margit's shackle. Briefly binds Margit once in prison to earth. 5,000 for that. What? Fetish bathed in golden magic. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen. And these ones were made to keep a particular omen under strict strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power, enough to trap the once bound Margit on Earth, if only for a short time. This looks like the thing, and I think Golomancy mentioned it yesterday when I was fighting the um, the stone digger troll in his chest cavity. He had something like that inside of his chest. And we didn't know what it was, but it looks like it might want to be one of these things. A shackle. Grace mimic? A fetish indicating the guidance of grace. Similar to grace, this fetish draws rays guiding the way only without any sense of order. Useful as a last resort for those who have lost their way, or for those who believe that unrefined guidance will lead to truer encounters. Glass shard. It cannot produce light by itself. Essentially worthless. A parrying dagger. Missionary cookbook. Oh, you can get the... Re oh, it actually tells you what the recipes are. I always buy them like this and without knowing. This is a script stone, a grace mimic, and the gold pickled foul foot which is this, and then this, and a script stone, whatever that is. Oh, I can get a stone sword key. We need another one of those. That is a festering finger. Attempts an invasion of another player's world. Great arrows, ballista bolts, horse crest wooden shield. 
circular horse head design evokes a swift gallop. Does that make you go faster? Yeah, this is Patch's shop, buddy, buddy. It's not 100% uh, physical negation, though. And then there's the sacrificial twig. prevents rune loss upon death but it will be lost instead yeah okay so you don't lose your runes once but then this breaks all right i think we're gonna i guess we'll get the missionary cookbook for sure we i want to save up and buy the sewn sword key from him Get this. Cheers for that. Um. So now item crafting should have it, right? Yeah. What does it take? It takes row of fruit, which we have tons of. Four toed foul foot. You gotta hunt birds, and golden fireflies. Okay. Human bone shards for this one. And script stone reveals more messages from other worlds. Okay. Human bone shards. Um, how many, how much something on you? No, no trouble to me. How much do I get if I sell? Okay. You get 1600 for this. <clears throat> wow. That was a golden rune five. Glitch. Yes, I've seen the Artesian fiasco. I, I, uh, we talked about it at length this morning at the start of the stream and a couple other streams last week. Uh, but I posted a big thread about my thoughts on Twitter today. So go to twitter.com slash bogotter and read up on it if you're interested. Cheers for that. Yeah, and I've terminated my contract with them, obviously. All right, so the big question is, do we look at this or not? Forgot something on you. No, no trouble to... Cheers for that. Do we try to be the person? Like, I wonder if he has a quest at some point. And the reward is uh, to get this. You know where chat leans, of course. But, but is it going to be a big mistake? I don't know. He's got that key I want. I can't. What if? What if he turns into an enemy and I can't get the key? Anyone in chat who doesn't think I should do it? Anyone at all? You can't leave a chest unopened? Watch me! <laughs> <laughs> 